Hi guys, my name is Mateen and I'm with Prairie Grain Analyzers and today I want to show you guys how to use the MA405 Moisture Analyzer. To start off, let's talk about uh, charging a little bit. Before you use your tester, especially in harvest time, you want to make sure you're charging it daily overnight. Um, you should be storing the tester in a dry area that's relatively room temperature like your shop. Um, when you're operating the machine, you want to make sure that you're operating um, between the temperatures of 5 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius, which is 41 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so the tester comes with a charger like this and it will plug into a wall outlet. Um, we recommend that you avoid charging the tester in a combine or a truck or any other motor vehicle because it could damage the tester and the charger. Um, so you plug it in and the other end will go in the back here. Once you plug it in, the power button should turn red and that means that it's actively charging. Once that red color turns off, that means your machine is fully charged. Let's go ahead and start it up. Um, so you hold that button for about two seconds and you'll hear that beep. And that's how you know it's on. When the machine is on, um, this little notification will come up. It's a friendly reminder to make sure that the machine is sitting on a fairly level surface and that there's nothing in the green cell or um, that the green cup isn't on the machine. So it's very important to make sure that there's nothing in the grain cell and that this cup is not sitting on the machine. Um, often customers will call us because they're not getting correct moisture readings. And the issue really is that when they're turning the machine on, they quick, uh, quickly press OK and there's um, leftover grain in there from a previous testing or they have this cup sitting on the machine. So make sure it's empty, there's nothing on it, and then go ahead and press OK because it will reset the scale. Okay, so this is the, um, the home page. Here you, you could do your testing and I'll show you how you can do that um, in a later video, but uh, right now we're gonna focus more on the settings and how to use the machine. So on this page, you can click around a little bit, use the touch screen. When you're using the touch screen, you want to make sure you're using the fleshy part of your finger and you want to touch very lightly. It will do the job. You don't have to forcefully touch. Um, it won't change how it's reacting and it's actually a little bit slower if you're forcing uh, your fingers onto the touch screen. Uh, you want to avoid using your fingernails because it just doesn't read as well. If you see, it's not really responding to my fingernail. And you want to avoid using any sharp objects on the touch screen. Okay, um, we're gonna go into the settings and in here, um, let's start with the country. When we send out the testers, we will pre-select the country for the country that we're testing, we're sending to, but um, it doesn't hurt to check. So you wanna make sure you're in the right country settings um, and that's between Canada and the US. I'll leave it on Canada, but let's say uh, you get your tester and it's not on a correct country setting. You want to click the correct one, go back into settings, reboot your machine. So turn it off and turn it on for it to be reset. Okay, we'll go back into the settings and I'm going to show you the crops option. So in the crops, you have the option to select up to eight crops that you use most frequently and that can always be changed by going back and reselecting them. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick about eight and then if you notice, it won't let me pick the ninth one. So how you get around that is you just make sure you unselect one that you're not using as frequently and then select another one. So the ones that you've selected should uh, show up on the home screen here and you can flip through them like that. Okay, now let's go back into the settings and I wanna show you guys the scale setting. So when you get your tester, because it's being shipped out and sometimes it gets thrown around, you want to make sure you check the scale to see if it's working properly. And we recommend during harvest um, to check the scale before you start your day, uh, just to make sure you get correct readings and accurate readings. So how you do that is um, you just want to quickly go into check scale. It will show you what the scale is reading at the moment. 
Um, within one gram is normal, um, but if you see anything more than that, you want to make sure you go ahead and calibrate the scale. And how you do that is in the same settings, it says calibrate scale, and you want to make sure you have your 200 gram weight with you. So we will go in this setting and it's going to say make sure it's sitting on a flat surface and there's nothing in the green cell. You press start. And then it'll tell you to put the 200 gram weight in gently. So you want to make sure you don't drop the weight in because that will damage the, the cone and the scale in there. So you just want to place it in gently and just like that is fine. You don't need to put it on top of the cup on the machine that will set off the scale. It just needs to sit in like this and you press next. So now it's done, um, you, you can take that out and your scale should be good to go.